Hello everyone, this is Dr. Daniel again from the Central Lambda Family Health Team. Today I want to talk to you about the importance of isolation and quarantine. So people ask me the question about how contagious is this virus? Do we, do we really need to be one kid this careful? Uh, is it really that contagious? Uh, well, contagious is something that we talk about as in the literature. However, when we look at what the science, scientific journals would say is they call it a reproductive number. A reproductive or an RO value. A reproductive number for this virus is between 2 and 2 and 2.5. What that really means is that for every one person that is infected with this virus, you have two people, they can pass it on to two people or to two and a half people. So just say it's two. So more this is actually more contagious than the seasonal influenza virus that we usually have or like September, October uh, uh, time. So let's get a sense pictorially of how an infection can spread in the community. Remember, we talked about contagiousness or otherwise the reproductive number for this virus being about two to two and a half. This is actually more than the regular seasonal influenza. So how does this impact a person who's infected? How does it, in other words, let's see how an impact, infected person would impact the community if they did not quarantine themselves or if they did not isolate themselves. So imagine this is the person with the infection. And we'll circle, put a circle around them here to show that they have the infection. Next, let's see what the transmission would be. Remember, let's assume that the reproductive number or contagiousness is two. So in other words, this person would actually now give two other people the infection. Then these two people would give two more people this infection. on and on and on. So just in a few short weeks, by the time we hit even this area here, which is about a week or two, you probably have about 30 people infected. And where did it start? It started from one person who was actually infected with the virus. Now, what would the impact be of isolating yourself or quarantining yourself? Very simple, just watch. You, commute, you completely remove the impact of that infection on a huge number of people and therefore stopping community transmission.